Hi everyone. So today I'm just going to be making a quick tutorial on how to make a face on Microsoft Paint. And uh, this is one I drew um, today. And um, I made an example on how I did it first by freehand. And then I did it with geometric forms only using lines, squares, and circles, and rounded lines. So um, also, I guess, triangles. Um, I al also added some shading um, to show you how just with Microsoft Paint, even as a beginner, we can do so many things that will initiate um, the beginner's taste for drawing on this very, very, very basic app, although its simplicity is obvious, I think it's really, really nice to be able to practice on something like Microsoft Paint in order to later get prepared for doing things on a more complicated or sophisticated software. So um, again, this is what I drew freehand with um, the stylist. I, I don't know how to call that digital pen. Um, that's what I used. And then with the same pen using the software lines, I was able to draw this, uh, this face. So um, I'm thinking of doing this again. But this time, I'm going to do it step by step with you guys. And um, we're going to start by opening up Microsoft Paint and going step by step. Um, first and foremost, I will not do a voiceover. Usually, it's better to do a voiceover because I could put some music. And at the same time, you guys see what I do. This time, I prefer to walk you through it with me because it's going to be... Um, I guess better that way. If ever it gets boring, I'll edit this video and put music and let you see what's going on. But for the most part, I think it's pretty cool to try to do this while I coach as I work with explaining how I do things. So I usually start with a circle and um, you can do it oval or more stretched out towards you know, the bottom or side, I guess, wide versus long, long faced, wide face. Um, I prefer to just go wide face because I usually cut off the sides. So let me put this in blue. This way I don't mess up my lines. And uh, mind you, I will go how I do it. Okay. There's no technique, specific technique that I use. I know there's the Andrew Loomis method, I think, if I'm pronouncing this correctly or other methods. I didn't invent anything. I just, after watching hours of videos, you kind of take a little bit from everybody and make up your own thinking. You invented it, but by, by all means, I did not invent anything. I just mixed up a bunch of different techniques and uh, I don't know what you call them anymore. So just follow along and um, I guess make your own technique based on other techniques and your skills will take off from there. So I usually start with lines that determine certain things in the face. For example, I, this is a pretty high hairline. This is going to be the hairline. Um, I want, I think I want the eyes to be around here. So again, I'll be making a complete tutorials for real beginners by showing them the top icon buttons to see what, you know, to use when you're making a line, using colors, um, the size of your, your brushes and the size of your lines and pencil, uh, the paint bucket, etc. So without further ado, I'm digressing here. So let me go on and shut up and, and uh, draw. So I, this is probably going to be the chin. I say probably because there are no rules. Sometimes I modify as I go. So if the chin's there, I want my mouth to be over here. The mouth of whatever and whoever I'm drawing to be over here. So this is going to be the mouth. 
the eyes, the mouth. Again, you need to uh, do your homework. I'm not an expert, so I'm not going to be teaching you about proportions and stuff, but uh, people will tell you the three eyes, the one in the middle is where the nose is going to be, you know, three eye shape sizes, and um, that's how you calculate things. I just go on with subconscious thinking. Uh, well, subconscious is not thinking, but I mean, my subconscious will tell me things that I've learned without knowing that I've learned it before and I just do it, you know? So, um, yeah, I digress. I always like to put a line in the middle here. And this kind of aligns the face. I'm somewhat trying to be mathematically correct. Uh, geomet uh, geometry wise, I want to be also somewhat you know, accurate, but that's not going to happen. So just go with the flow. So again, hairline or hairline line, eyes. So that's the, li the, uh, the line for the eyes and the mouth. So the nose, I'm going to go out and let it be because I would draw a line for the nose right here. But for some reason, I don't like to do, to do that. So I don't. Um, usually in the Loomis method, I believe they shave off the sides. I do too, but I do it in a way where it's just not as accurate as others. But I'm going to do it anyways. So... I'm going to do it like this. Again, I'm not as accurate as other people doing it. This, and I'm doing this with a mouse, mind you. So it's harder. And it works out your dexterity. So that's why my channel is really also um, focusing on practicing your dexterity. And there's nothing better than doing this with a, uh, with a mouse because it's so difficult. And people who say it's not difficult, I don't know. Nobody ever said that, but... Show me that person who's really good with drawing with a mouse. It's just weird. And I like it because it practices my dexterity. So, um, yeah, line is straight enough. <clears throat> Knocked out my skeleton there. Um, all right. So, <clears throat> so now you see hairline, a line for the eyes line for the mouth, and a head is always kind of like, you know, kind of sh or kind of a pentagon shape. So usually your head would look like something more along the lines of this, well, like this, right? But with your hair, you'd be like something like whatever, like this, okay? And then you'd have the eyes, whatever, whatever, and the neck. Uh, okay, I know it looks weird. <laughs> looks like a cup, but you'll get the picture. So now that I have the basis of what I want to do, let's calculate the eyes. So I want my eyes to be approximately, again, I'm not going to go mathematical on you guys because the point is to have fun and draw, but I like big eyes because... Um, they kind of tell a story. And as you can see, already I know that I'm not centered correctly because um, it's hard for me to pinpoint where my eyes are going to be located. But you try to go as straight and mathematically correct as possible. This, in my case, it's not going to happen because for some reason, I've always been somewhat abstract and you just learn to live with the, you know, what you've been given in terms of... Um, talent or lack of talent so so still with the straight lines I try to measure the distance between what I've done on the other side and I try to replicate the same thing on the other side as you can see it's already not equal just have fun who cares do what you got to do now I put circles inside and you can follow along if you do this you know because I'm going pretty slow and it could be really annoying to hear me talk while I'm doing this so might as well pick up a pen and do stuff on your own because or else you're gonna be here for a long time looking at this video not subscribing and going this is crap I'm off so 
might as well do something and try it out. Trust me, it'll be interesting if you do. You'll be surprised of your own creation. Trust me. So, I'm now still with the straight lines. And as you can see, these little triangles, the shapes, the geometric shapes, take a life of their own, right? So, I think that's kind of cool to look at that in that way. And again, you will see other videos showing you, um, oh, that, you know, the eyebrows will start here and then end up here. Listen, just draw and chill out. And then later on, you'll worry about mathematics. Okay. Right now, use geometric lines and shapes to make your heart come to life. And then one step at a time, you'll understand that once you freehand draw, it'll be so fun because you'll be like, oh my God, I actually was able to construct a face using geometric shapes and not having to worry about how good my line work is because this just does it for you. Okay. And I promise it'll look kind of like what I showed you in the opening of the video. So right now I'm going with the nose. See, I'm always starting from certain points, which are indicators, right? Every point of extremity from the nose to the eyes, for some reason, they all match up with one another. So this is kind of cool in that sense because it gives you an indicator of where, you know, how your face is constructed. So still with straight lines, I'm doing more work. I just want to trace a nose line. So and here, I just want to do this like that. Now, the eyes usually, if you look at your face, are systematically kind of close to your ears. Um, now I see I'm really not equal, but who cares? And see my, I'm, this, this drawing's gonna have big old, big old ears. And I'm gonna stop his ears close to where the tip of my nose starts. So if you touch your ears and your nose, the end, depending on how you're shaped, because we're all shaped differently, um, usually it comes out to approximately the calculations I'm giving you right now. Okay, so um, the tip of the nose, there's a line. Remember I told you I didn't want to make the line for the nose is because I kind of want to wing it. So there you go. <clears throat> so now that I have somewhat of a face, um, I would go and do the whole jaw, right? And again, look at other tutorials. They tell you you come from certain, a certain place and then you draw. Just watch what I do. I don't kill myself doing this. I'm just going to go right here and make a line like that. Of course, I'm trying to be as precise as possible because you're, go you're going to realize that we're going to erase some of those lines. So I want to self go with self-preservation and erase as less as possible less lines as possible as you can see it's not as equal it doesn't matter so now we have this figure right now let's grab our eraser and start erasing i'm going to pick the largest eraser see the size here also goes for the eraser when you choose your tool right so and i'm going to start erasing all the lines i find that are useless I'm keeping my hairline. I don't need this line in the, in the middle of the forehead anymore, nor the one crossing his nose. If you were to keep those lines, they will serve as lines that will indicate where shadow, uh, shadows go. You know, when you're doing the shadowing, um, it could be useful. Again, I'm being an idiot and I'm just erasing those lines. But you'll be smart enough, I hope, to figure out that, hey, I could keep those lines and do shadowing instead, you know, create shadows and stuff. So, all right. Um, let's see, rate this laugh line. Again, 
erasing these lines is kind of a risk because they could be useful and you'll know why later. I always leave this one usually, but I'll give it like a little, I don't know, what do you call that, a cleft chin or something? I don't know what the word is exactly, but uh, whatever. Gives him kind of a hero chin. All right, so, and nobody has that around his ears and face, this circular line here. So let's just erase that. Um, this could have been like a collar line for his... I want to know if I want to keep this line. Let me see here. Nah, I'm going to erase that. Okay, so now, just with geometric forms, we have a face. I'm going to erase now the contours of this head here because we're going to make our own. But I'm going to keep the hairline as a kind of a guide. He's got big ears, man. You can modify that after. <laughs> uh, okay, so now... Let's go like this, line like this, give him a bit of a tempo line. Let's not be, the skeleton's about to move again. Give him a good tempo line. So. I'm going to give him a bit of a widow's peak. Now I'll grab the eraser again. Remove this bowl he's got on his head. All right, so now we have a face. I'm going to do, see, now for the neck, usually it depends on if he's muscular, you'd give him a big neck like this, right? So if he's skinny from the mouth line, the la I would just give him a neck like this. It's an indicator, right? I kind of want an in-between, in so I'm going to go around halfway point because it's got a big gap from the nose to the lips. I'm going to go halfway here and go here. So he's somewhat muscular, but not big, you know. So indicators are very important when you're doing this geometric drawing technique, which I guess I just... I should take props for that and invent that, right? But eh, I didn't invent anything. I'm just doing this because uh, I have bad line work. So funny enough, when you draw like this, it reminds me of the Egyptian drawings, you know, whenever they're doing these. And um, they're very mathematically drawn, I, f I find, you know, so. That's what it reminds me of. And also, the if you watch Batman, the cartoons, they were very symmetrical in terms of, like, you know, geometry. Like, the drawings were kind of squarish with good lines. Mine are really lines, straight lines, and very aggressive, you know, pointy lines. But we'll find a way to round this, this out after. Now... <sighs> I just drew ears. I don't know what I just did, but hey, it works out. Uh, on the nose, I like to put kind of like cheekbones. Um, that's why I said keep the lines, you know, like um, the nose line, which there was no nose line. But that's important to keep because they will indicate where the cheekbones are supposed to be. I didn't do that. So, hey, we're going with what we want to do.
So I'm putting another circle inside. Usually I would be able to just brush this up, but I'm going to keep with the, the point of this tutorial, which is to do everything with geometric forms, right? So let's keep doing that. Now I've got enough to kind of um, stop using blue lines, <clears throat> which I've been doing since before. Let's give this guy a quick slick collar. Okay, so I'm not going to go on the whole body. The point was to make a face. And now, magic, pick up the paint bucket, fill with color, take black, and now my line work is black. If I were to do this, the whole page is black, so that's not good. So you really have to aim at the line. If you can't aim directly on the lines, blow up your picture, and then just you want to make sure that you aim directly on the line work or else your whole paper is going to go like this which is not what you want okay so now i'm going to put this back at 200. see how simple microsoft paint is you can do so much so now if i wanted i could pick the brush if i was lazy pick the big lines and go And that would be the hair. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to continue on with what I've promised. And it's to do line work with, you know, the software without doing freehand work. And um, it's going to be really appreciated by everyone to see how without using your own faulty talent <laughs> you can draw you know some st some things properly by using the app or software in question especially a simple one like microsoft paint which allows you to make cool cute little drawings like this with without stressing um i should have started this drawing a little deep down the page but it's okay all right so now this guy is going to look like this. Um, I'm going to give him a frame. don't like this one. I might, I'm, I'm on the top of the page. So this makes, let's make it a square because this is not going to be cool if it's, um, if it's, um, yeah, this is good. So now I frame this. I'm going to close out the lines or else you know what happens when we have gaps, right? Like I just did there. It does not fill properly. For now, people who've never tried this before don't understand what I'm saying by color fill and gaps and stuff. Trust me, you'll find out on your own. <laughs> like you'll see that if you don't properly close the lines, whenever you go out to fill in i showed you multiple times examples on that it will not fill in everything you need to fill in so now here comes the fun part we've got this guy here we can go and fill in the color i don't like this line here so wow big mistake wow big mistake again so let's just use brown. I'm going to make a brown line over this.
There you go. So, <clears throat> yeah, line work is important, but you got to really be careful because if you don't do it, oh man, shoot. you don't do it properly, you get messed up like I just did. So let me redo my line work properly. So I'm just going over the lines. This way it looks cleaner. Okay. So now give this guy dark brown eyes. I'm gonna blow this up a little bit. This way I keep the white white. And then the iris black. And then it gives me a little gap here of white, which is cool because whatever. Eyebrows, we could change the eyebrows and a different color, but it's just put it in black. Why is it giving me little gaps here? I don't know. Anyways, we'll just. Anyways, so. Going back to with the bucket. Hopefully the neck was the neck was closed. Yeah, it was. The ears, good. No gaps. And the hair. Boom. Let's give this guy a good looking shirt. Excellent. I want this in black because it's uh kind of like shadowy. We are done. So here you have a complete figure drawn only with geometric shapes and uh, lines and there wasn't even shapes really because when you think about it I just did lines in geometric forms but I didn't have to really use geometric forms except for the the framing which was a square the um, original line work which was the um, the circle for the technique and that's what still gives me a sort of a rounded chin um, the rest was all lines couple of dots with the brush <clears throat> for the eyes which you can say I cheated whatever but I hope it gives you kind of um, an idea of how to just draw with geometry without having to even you know be good at drawing you know and if you want to be nasty let's just go and add in some um let's see here messed up choose brown and edit the colors just to give him a bit of shadowing so if i were to make a line from here to here Make sure this is closed. If this is not, you, you guys know the rule. If it's not completely closed, it will not fill. So, Not too bad. Um, I 
Oh, yeah. I'm just having fun doing a bit of shadows. So let's say the light is coming from here down his face, then obviously it creates some shadows around here. And um, that's what I'm doing right now. There you go. I think there's enough shadowing around here. I think it's just, we can have fun with it and put some around the eyes. See, this is where I would have a beat because you hear me breathing and creating without saying a word. That could be painful for anyone watching but sorry about that. I'm just trying to finish this up for you guys. So yeah, here you go. You have pretty much <coughs> could have shadows down here. Um, could give this guy also marker lips to make it a, a bit different. Um, I think that's kind of cool. Like, I think it's a cool drawing. So yeah, overall, this is how we do it. We've got a face drawn only with geometric forms, lines, and uh, no freehand drawing. I think it turned out pretty well. Um, we added some shadowing. You can make it, I mean, you can do it better than I did, but listen, it's a start. I'm going I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. I show you I think it's kind of cool. So overall, it's um I think it's a good indication of what to do if you're just learning digital art and this is the start. So hopefully you like this video. Please subscribe because I want to make some more. I want to document more of my progress and I want to teach you more methods that I've learned from other people, other YouTubers, other books other artists and uh, hopefully we can go on and um, on this journey and become better artists just by you know learning together so thank you again for watching and hope you come and tune in to the next video don't forget to subscribe thank you